Yes. It was APOC, you're right. Three, and Zinger with that one, default one. everything, man. I have never seen him use a skin in my life. Like, he is an anomaly <laughs> of a player. I, I don't know. I think the memes are so funny. Oh, no. It starts off with a GC. Money Hollow capitalizing, uh, capitalizing on that really well. The dare dribble into the nair. Catching that straight side light. Nothing afterwards. Going for the D light. Zinger dodging away. And uh, off rip here, it's definitely seeming uh, like Money Hollow is going to be pretty dominant here with his great sword. He's getting away from the bridge of like all of these sidelight openings. Mm -hmm. Nice dare into the wall to reset his jumps. Getting back onto the main platform, of course, picking up the bow as quickly as he can, but it's not gonna matter for very long as Money Hala. It's not a clean stock, but he has about 50 damage on this, so he's in a really good spot. Absolutely. He's already shown that like he has openings, he has the strings, even when like he he whiffs the second one. Sinker is only now starting to find that punish. That is true. He is definitely avoiding that bridges pretty well. Money Hollow catching on to that though, getting that three piece. The side stick there, not going punished. Waking up with that GC. Money Hollow still racking up this damage. Almost got the read on the spot dodge there. That could have been deadly. And we are seeing him building up that damage with that great sword, swapping over to that lightsaber sword to get the confirm. And that's gonna be it. A two stock lead for Money Hollow catching that last option with the ground pound. Looking super good here on this game one. Now going back over to the Greatsword, Zinker. He has the bow this time, hoping to get the high recovery to take off the top. Now we're seeing Money Hollow start to change up his bridge a little bit. He knows the potential of a, a possible bow dare coming in. So you see him going for the side light in light rather than the side light D light opener, or, uh, opener to bridge that he was doing in the previous stock. So changing things up just a little bit once he saw Zinker was starting to get away from the side light D light. Takes that first stock, but he's on one, almost in orange. This might be kind of, you know, an adaptation game for Zinker. Or he might get the reverse three stock. It is very possible. I think at this point, that would be extremely difficult for him to get, uh, to do. But we'll see. The GC d light there does connect. Money Hollow using that GC. Ensign making it back. Just barely, no, out of options completely. Nice. Falling. We are actually seeing some reverse three potential here coming out from Zinker. This could be Money Hala maybe getting uh, a little bit confident early on in this matchup, just ripping the GC neutral signature on the sword very early in his way back to the stage. That was an interesting choice. Maybe feeling himself a little bit too much. Of course, he still could potentially close this one out very quickly. So I just saw him hunting for the recoveries. Oh, happened to go the wrong direction. That was a guess that he made a 50-50, whether Sinker was going to be on his left or on his right. He expected the dodge over or the jump Good over. Game. A reasonably confident victory Three, there, especially two, the way that he started one, out the game. Uh, you saw that he only had like 60 more damage on his greatsword, which was his main weapon, compared to Zinker's main weapon. He's starting off almost the exact same way. The turnaround neutral air gave Zinker a little bit more room to go back to the main stage, pick up his bow, and then put out some juggle hit boxes. Gets away from that down air. Tried to read the same direction with the string. Holding center stage here, both in the middle. Zinker setting him off with a quick turnaround with the Sayer. That's just going to be it. No, wow, it's actually not. That very last option oh. to turn around with the ground pound. No options come out oh. money hole. Oh my gosh, dude. I cannot believe Zinker he even touched the wall there. Yeah, no, actually. What the heck? Okay, gets away from that. Doesn't get caught by the closer. Nothing past even the, the opener. Made contact with Zinker. Neutral air, not quite enough to do it just yet. He's hunting for the recovery. That is going to be the KO move. Money Hall is still feeling very good. You see him stepping across the stage. Only has about 30 to 45 damage on this stock. He has weapon advantage. There is a spawn on the field, and Zinker's able to grab it very quickly. It's back over to the bow. Let's see some bow gameplay. Tried to read the jump high out of it or a dodge up with the side air after picking the picking up the double side lights. That's something Zinker goes for just a bit ago. That D light and Sig can get that confirmed. That's kind of like a Koji specific combo. And that is something that Zinker does abuse and utilize a lot. So I'm wondering if we're going to see more of that for that damage build up because that is a lot of damage. And now he does have a little bit of that damage lead. Although, as I say, that Money Hollow picking up that side light D light. Zinker oh. answering back with the Sayer. Goes for the D Sig. I love that. Money Hollow with the return on the unarmed neutral light, both in KO percent. The side light connects the dribble. Is this going to be it? Yes, it is. Catches that recovery with the side air. And now a little bit of this stock lead in Zinker's favor now.
And I think Zinker's really starting to wake up now. You see a lot of confidence in his sword movement. You see him, like, starting to exploit, of course, the high decks that mm -hmm. Koji has. That's the reason he's so difficult to punish, because he has so many moves that can cover him right after a whiff. And Money Hall is kind of struggling to adapt to that. And he's, he's just in Money Hall's face instantly, then he backs up. Goes and grabs the weapon, has the sword now, right there. The whip from Money Hall, it seemed like it was pixels away from Zinker. And he's there, instantly ready to punish you with the sword you feel like. <laughs> that was a side, side light back up, side light back up, side light back up. <laughs> That's, that's how it be, you know? They hit the side light, they wait for some sort of dodge, wait for some sort of reaction. We saw a lot of that gameplay from Yuuze, too, who literally won the World Championship with kind of a similar game plan with that side light back dash. And uh, it definitely seems like very consistent coming out from these great sword players. Zinger's still in this, the GCD like ground pound with the style points, the D sig off that. Zinker putting a point on the board there. So he just, he just went for the ground pound because he wanted the KO move there. He was very much in the red, but the confidence from Zinker was up throughout the entire time. And it seemed like Money Hollow was definitely on the back foot. Even though Zinker was like very much in the red on final hit, his confidence just, just coming through all of those like sidelight backdash, sidelight backdash from Money Hollow. It seems like there's a lot of the game where he is on the back foot, even though he's finding hits. Zinker's pushing him forward. 100%, yeah, for sure. He does have some pretty good pressure. Uh, Money Hollow is really good at just building up damage in general, but I do agree, Zinker's position and his punishing is pretty good. As I say that, Money Hollow with a perfect dodge away, getting that three piece, answers that of his own beautiful punish game. Not too much damage on the board for him either, holding it down. Uh, Zinker getting some nice unarmed damage here. The D like ground pound gonna be looking for this weapon. Picks up that bow, the dash oh down there, sending him to dude. the depths. Does he make it back? He does. Zinker is looking so stylish here. It's crazy that like this is the guy who gets clipped and put on Twitter. <laughs> like he he's playing so confidently. His GCD light there was just so nice. The timing on it was fantastic. His movement is amazing. I'm loving the way Zinker's playing right now. Money Hall is playing really well also. <laughs> Uh, as we say that, Zinker <laughs> is going to essentially throw that stock away. Oh no, that, that's just too funny. I love how Zinker's playing right now. He unfortunately, I'm assuming that's going to be a big misinput into the ground pound SD. And that is just super unlucky and unfortunate. Uh, two stock lead here, never mind. One stock lead. But man, that might definitely throw him off a little bit. That is a brutal misinput SD. Gonna be a stock behind now because of that. Definitely, you know, still able to win this, but uh, gonna have to shake that one off for sure. He's doing a good job so far. You saw him hitting Money Hall all the way from the right side of the stage over to the left. Just seems like he's in complete control. Even when he's like getting bodied, he still seems to play so confidently he's just relentless he's not letting it up money hall is doing a great job but all of a sudden this lead is starting wow. to get smaller and smaller and smaller great bounce pass there to finish it up with the side air after the down air i'm loving the way zinker's playing i'm i'm loving his sword i hope I, we get to see more of him this year he's schmoving he's playing super clean i really like how he utilizes those uh down air dribble combos like he gets them really consistently and gets a lot of damage off of them as well really good spot dodge from money hollow on that sword good side game. light the three piece confirmed Player there one, using win. that neutral light finisher three, there there two, were several there one, towards the end wrong. where he just missed them i think he was just doing them on read rather than on reaction mm -hmm. and maybe if he slows down like just a little bit just a little bit to be like okay is the side light the better option here or is he too close to me and i just need to go for the d light maybe i don't have as much pressure out of it because it doesn't move me along with him but that's the safer move i 100 agree with that it seemed like money hall was really ready for them to oh my goodness oh, dude come on money hall caught the options there this. he could have made it back oh, I, I think man. the pressure from money hall kind of just scared zinker knowing that ground pound was going to come out didn't have many options at all to make it back so kind of just loved it not too much he could have done there maybe he could have you know weaved his way back to the wall Ooh, ground pound to return this be huge that gc n6 staring him Dude. back the chase dodge okay. oh my gosh okay we're are we chilling if he if so. he loses the stock i'm gonna lose my mind <laughs> all right look at this lead though man look at this lead He's already red, oh and now he's gone, and this is looking tough, man. Money Hall is up 2-1, as we're here in game four. If Zinker could just, like, not have to fight back from two stock leads, 
time? <laughs> like that would that'd be really that'd be really good. It's it's really interesting because like we have seen him play so clean in this set specifically, and then it's kind of seems like he just like clocks out or miss inputs, and it kind of just like completely throws off his momentum completely. I mean, he's one orange. Money Hall is on three. Like he is definitely looking to take this game very soon. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's that could be the start of something. Just gonna of course stick with the sword. Next weapon spawn coming in. He's just gonna kinda play around it rather than trying to strip the shield. Nice! And see right there. That was the perfect chance for like if we were at the end of last game, he probably would have gone for the side light. I still think it might have made a connection there, but him going for again, punishing with the neutral light rather than the side light, doing the safer move. For sure. Definitely did do that. Going for that ground oh, pound, this that was might not just a be safe it. Move, Socks. That was not a safe move. That was not. At that point, he's so far behind, you know, I kind of respect it. At the same right. time, like he, he kind of just like full sent it, you know, just like hoping it would hit. And that's really well played for Money Hollow. That is gonna be 3-1 in his favor, eliminating Zinker from the bracket. And that's a pretty big dub, man. Gotta be feeling pretty good about that going into this next set. And uh, I believe he's going to be fighting Gooey right to get the run back against Meg D in uh, Grand Finals. Yeah. 